How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil the Blacks. Welcome back to Let's Play The Addams Family. We are so close to the end. We can feel it. We are in the caves. And uh, basically once we get to the gondola, ow, uh, that's when we really know we're there. Because that's the last regular room of the game. But, ah, okay, so I can't jump past this. This is, doesn't hurt me though, which is good. I would have just assumed with this game and its disdain for players. Uh, that that would have been something painful, but I guess not. Ooh, but I do get some shoes up here. I definitely want, thank you. Oh, I lost them already. That's okay. Um, at this point of the game, I'm just trying to make it through. I've got 50 lives, so we know we're making this. I'm actually fairly proud of myself. I really thought I'd have a lot worse um, luck when it came to lives and stuff, but we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. All that's left right now is a bunch of cave-like rooms where you go to the right for a bit, you go back down, you go to the right, you go down, a lot of that. Oh, I can't believe that didn't hurt me. Sometimes you get hurt, and you're just like, how did that hurt me? And there's times when you don't get hurt, you're like, how did I survive that? It's a very weird game in that sense. I don't really need money, but if I can get one more life by the end, I guess it's definitely not a bad thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Wow. Ah! Oh, well. Took the hit. That's okay. Ooh, I want that, though. Can I get up there? Ooh, not really. Ah, oh, there you go. Ah, oh, well, I'll just die instead. One down. How many deaths in this episode? Let's say ten. <laughs> Kill that didn't hurt me. That's funny. Eh. Okay. Careful. Can't get me. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, those things. Oh, I made... Ah, I thought I made it up there. There we go. Is this the right way, or is this a secret? Well, it's secret, I guess, but... Oh, it is! Yeah, definitely making enough, uh... Hopefully enough money for one more life. And I get, Plus, you get the hearts. You get the hearts after, I think, every 25. Which is a really cool little detail. I like that a lot. In a game like this, where you get hit just a lot, having... That little extra, like, don't worry, you can get hearts every so often. Um, so just for fun, out of nostalgia, really, I watched the Anger Video Game Nerds uh, episode on the Adam Family, and it's mostly about the Fester's Quest. He only does uh, Adam Family, like, for like, a couple minutes at the very end. Um, and it was, he explained it really well. It's like, he's like, it's, what did he say? Damn. It's not a hard game, but it's easy to die. And that's, like, exactly what I've been trying to say. Like, it's not a hard game. I'm getting through this, and I've got plenty of lives. And the game does give you a lot of hearts and a lot of tries, and the checkpoints are very generous. But you die incredibly frequently. So, I'm like, I think, I don't think I could have ever summed up the type of difficulty that this game has in such an eloquent manner. Uh, I, oh, okay. Oh, there's a switch right there. I, I was just flabbergasted. I was like, yes, 100%. Oh, I like how it's binary. Off. On. Cool. Um, but yeah, that's that's exactly it. It's not a hard game, but it is very easy to die. So, ah, damn you. So I just, I like that a lot. So if you've ever played this, I think you know exactly what he means. Oh, should I keep going down? Or oh, some money. Some fish. Oof, that, that, the water's like messing my brain up a little bit. <laughs> it's almost flashy. Like, why did you, why did they do the dithering? Why not just make it transparent? Probably because they made it for the Sega Genesis first. A lot of games were like that. They were made for the Genesis first. I think that actually was, was made for the Amiga. It feels very Amiga-ish. Same with MC Kids. Uh, but a lot of times, yeah, Genesis gets made first and then it's ported onto the Super Nintendo. It kind of enhanced a bit. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was made for the Genesis or Amiga or something. And there, oh damn, there wasn't uh, transparency. There was the dithering instead to make it look like it's transparent. Ah, I hope I can make that. What was that, two deaths? Two or three, I don't know. Like I said, probably 10. Uh, I'm not sure how the last boss is going to go. It's it's seemingly simple, but, you know, it's me. I'll probably die a bunch of times. Plus, it just takes a lot of hits, and I only have five. So. Uh, I don't like you. I don't like any of this. Ah. This is the big cavern, as opposed to just the cave. This just means it's very long. This specific... Oh, jeez. I'll just walk right by that. That was easy. Oh, gosh. Okay, didn't expect that. <laughs> What is it? Oh, it's fun. Whenever I see this up thing, I expect, like, like platforms to come from it. I don't expect it to be a spring for some reason. I'm very weird. Oh, jeez. That was fun. The volcanoes. Okay. 
I wish there was I wish there was some more music in this game. Because the music they have is very good. I wish there was more of it. So kind of a shame. That's like really Ah no. Oh jeez. That's like pretty pretty much the biggest ball this game has dropped is, is the fact that the music is so good, but there needs to have been more of it. So you guys are just like the cherry bombs kind of things. Like bigger. Don't like it. Oh, how did I survive that? Jeez. Okay. Oh, I want that heart though. Yeah, well, I'm still gonna... Oh, you can actually just... Oh, I thought you... Okay, well, you can still kill the volcanic rocks. We getting there? To the river. Oh, we're getting close. Ah, damn. We didn't expect you to come down so fast. Damn you. But oh, no. I still have 47... 48 lives. And one more... Uh, damn. One more um, dollar sign. And we'll have another one. And plus, I'll get a heart back, which is always nice. Woo! That was good timing. Ah, damn. I've definitely gotten better at this game as we've gone uh, through it, which is really good. I mean, I'm glad. Oh, shit. I say that as I jump on the things. But I'd rather have a game that, like, if I start out bad, I get better as we go along. I'd, li I'd like that a lot more than just... Oh, my gosh. Nice. Uh, than just staying stagnantly unskilled the entire time. We can get that. Come on back. Thank you. Can I get these? Oh, there we go. Easy enough. Ah! Well, damn. Oh! That worked for me! Holy nuts! Ah, still. Still, I'm, I'm happy with how that went. I need one more dollar sign, please. Woo! Are we there? Is this a gondola? Or a gondola? Yes, it is! Last regular room. Uh, can I just go down here? Oh, you probably could. What's more dangerous? Staying up? Oh my gosh. They, yeah, they covered both their bases. All right, I'll just step here, I guess. Because once we make it past here, we'll actually be at the final boss. Not the next room specifically, but these are the last. This is the last dangerous room in the game. Well, it's hoping to get there with. Uh, well, you know what? Whatever. I'll probably die at the boss. Anyways. Oh, I don't want to die on the screen though, because I'll probably have to start it over. So I'll play it safe. Ooh, that's really messing with my brain again. Crap, crap, crap. Whoa! Nope, nope! Oh, it's right there! I made it! I made it! I did the whole thing again. Yes. This is probably the hardest room in the game for people who have, like, just rushed through and used the checkpoint system. Uh, that being said, I've got five hits now, so... Should be fine. It only gets really difficult in the end. If I take one hit, it's not a big deal, because once I get that dollar sign, and there is one more dollar sign in this game, I know that for a fact, uh, then I'll get my hits back. Is that it? Wow, is it really that short? It's, just, it's right here at the end, pretty much. Oh, no. There's more. Okay, right. I was I was kind of underneath the ground at that point. Oh, why did I do... Why did I jump around like that? <laughs> that was so silly of me. Okay, here we are. Probably best to kill them. Unless I just... Amazingly Matrix Neo through them all. Jeez, okay. Well, there we go. We've pretty much done it. We just have the boss, because here is the Adam's Vault. I'm so glad you didn't have to, like, pick up clues to figure out, like, the, the, um, the combination. That would have been not nearly as fun. Here we got the treasury. And over here... Oh, we get hearts back here anyways. And a what up? And some speedy shoes, which gives me a sixth hit. So that's definitely good. There's no weapon here. There we go. Extra life. Not even nice music here. And even the boss music, like the... Excuse me, whew, the final boss is just the regular boss music. Such a little disappointment. That's okay. Get some money. There's a decent amount. 27 things. Is there nothing here? Alright, here we go. Let's beat the Adams family. Here is the nasty judge. And he doesn't look like the judge from the game. because in Or in the game. The movie. In the movie, um, the judge is actually their neighbor. Oh, that counted as a hit, really. Uh, and he's, I, I don't know the actor, but I, I, he, but just by looking at him, he feels like he's like a famous British actor or something. <laughs> just has that look about him. Maybe it's the teeth, I have no idea. But he's really funny. Like, oh, whoa, did not expect that. Uh, he's really funny. He, he plays the, 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 the role really well. But in this, like, that does not look like him at all. Can I hit him twice if I'm down? Oh, I probably could, but I'll probably take damage. This is pretty easy, though. Cause, oh, I mean, I'm still screwing up because it's so easy to get hit. Oh, yeah! Two hits. Nice. Is he going to come down now again? Yeah, so, he, so he's following a pattern. When I was a kid, it never clicked 
that those were gavels that uh, he was dropping down. Damn, fell, come on. Uh, they look like teas. Just golden teas. So, but no, they are. Shit. Ah, I'm, I'm not going to make this. No! Oh, so close. That's okay. We're fine. It sucks because I actually have one less hit than normal because I don't have my speed shoes. But at least now I know the pattern. It's, gonna be, like, more, it, it's just hard to make minute movements with Gomez. Well, just try to be careful. Yeah, no. So, yeah, I, I, I didn't realize that they were gavels. I thought they were teas growing up because I'm, I'm a silly, weird child. Okay, is he gonna come down now? Yes. You can probably hit him when he's doing that, but I mean, I don't know. It's just not safe, I guess, to do so. Do the T's all, are the T's, sorry, do the, uh, do the gavels all f fall at the same place? No, they do move around a little bit, okay. Just a little, so you can't just stay in one spot the entire time. That would make it a little too easy. Oh, I was over, get, oh damn, I took two hits. It's like, if I got a hit, I might as well jump in there and get that extra hit, but. Screw that. He only has three more hits anyways. I should be fine. Okay. I'll go for the double hit on his last try. On his last uh, jump. Because why not, right? Two, okay. Here we go. And one more. And we did it. We've rescued Morticia. Hey. Well done, my darling. You have saved the family fortune and Fester has returned to the fold. Aww. Great, great movie. You should watch it if you haven't already. Think nothing uh, nothing of it. Uh, Querida. I don't know what that means. I enjoyed exploring this old house of ours once again. I love how positive the entire family is, to be honest. It's one of my favorite parts. Oh, Gomez, I remember too. All those simply wonderful, dark, and devious nooks and crannies. Like, they are so happy about all the unpleasant things in life. It's just, it's great. <laughs> Unhappy, darling. Well, that could be her asking him, I guess, but... Depends on what the answer is. <laughs> yes, completely. I don't know. Whoever says that. It was Gomez to Morticia to me. And... You gotta say something in French, Morticia? You gotta. Oh, really? It's like the oldest joke in the entire show. Oh, it's such a shame. Oh, cute little fireworks. The damn mansion looks great. Looks really, really good. Oh! Hi, Thing. Oh, bye, Thing. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Oh, wow. That's really... Programmed by James... That's a really good caricature. That looks amazing for the Super Nintendo. Great line art. Oh, wow. These look fantastic. You're designed by Warren Lancashire. Lancashire? Worcester sauce? Wow, yeah, no, these are fantastic little caricatures. Additional graphics by Simon Butler. Is Ocean a British company? I actually don't know. Music and sound effects by Jonathan Dunn. It feels like a British game. I find, especially in the 80s and 90s, each region has a feel. Oh, jeez. Played by Gareth Betts, who playtested and then stole your lunch money. But I found all three regions have very distinct kind of gameplay and feels to their games. Uh, playtested by Timothy Welch. Uh, I feel like, like... British and, and European games had a lot of like what this game was like. Um, I don't know, I just feel like that. Uh, Scart connector? S cart, probably. Even 5 amp fuse by Paul Street. No clue what that is. I love the weight. Look, look how good this is. This looks fantastic. Photographs by Jennifer G uh, Gillespie. Oh, so she did these. Probably the Adams family as well. Oh, 90s Howie Mandel. <laughs> Developed a development managed by Gary Bracey. How long was that? I was like. Six, seven people? Eight people? Wow, it was just all them. Good job, guys. You did a fantastic job. Anyways, thanks so much for joining me, guys. That was a lot of fun. I'm really glad I could play that again. It's been so long since I've played through it. Uh, I think next year we'll do another one. There are a lot of Adam Family games, and they're just they're just fun in general. So, with that, I'm Phil the Blanks. See you next level. Thank you so much for watching this playthrough, and remember to hit that subscribe button to see what I'll play next. Big thanks to my patrons who are supporting me, it means a lot. If you'd like to support my channel, share my videos with some friends, or consider visiting my Patreon page.